Hey guys, welcome back to Sun Crypto. In today's content, uh, we'll talk about BTC. We'll take a look at BTC on a 3D basis and uh, on a monthly basis and what type of uh, price action we could uh, anticipate over the next like a few uh, weeks, month, or even like, uh, you know, uh, quarters and all that good stuff, okay? So if you're new to our content, you, you know, I'm just gonna basically uh, uh, review, right? The uh, 3D, MACD, and all that good stuff, because uh, most of you guys pretty familiar with the 3d macd if you're not i'm just going to review it and all that good stuff okay so if you take a look at btc on a 3d time frame right we've been signed it over the last uh, few a uh, uh, few months or even like over the last couple of years right since like we broke out right here above like uh 11.5 and all that good stuff that's when we flipped really really bullish and one of the reason for that was like we got a positive macd price action was above the uh, 21 ema the uh, 50 day cycle was breaking out we said okay we're going to the moon because if we break out above 13.5 bang no need to be looking back and all that good stuff okay fast forward to uh you know 20 uh, you know 2021 november right here after we crossed negative what we said right here guys uh you know macd crossed negative right price action below our 21 ema we most likely going to get we most likely going to get a strong downtrend we don't know how long how long it'll take to basically uh, uh find the next support and all that good stuff or where the bottom going to be and all that good stuff but what we were saying was like we weren't looking for a bottom what we were saying is like we got a double top okay we got a double top right here macd is negative we most likely going to be continued continuing to the downside until we get another basically positive magnet and what happened right here our target all the way down to the monthly 20 ema at 34 35k area macd flipped positive right here and what we said back then was like okay guys our macd is positive so it means like we could be in a consolidation okay it doesn't mean like uh you know btc cannot basically push to the upside or btc cannot push to the downside but if the macd crossed uh you know uh, if we get another macd uh, negative momentum right if it crosses negative we're going to be pushing to the downside again and take a look at it right here back in april we crossed negative right here what we said guys we're going to dump down to our you know uh, 25k support and all that good stuff just about the uh, uh, you know uh, monthly uh, uh, monthly uh, 50 ema and all that good stuff right right there okay so going back to the uh, lower degree right so we got another negative magnet right here another strong rejection okay be careful with this negative momentum okay sometimes it feels like uh, your indicator is about to uh, cross positive right but you get a strong rejection most of the time these these are strong rejections right you could look at them as a negative crossover that's why i was saying right here since our mac they never cross positive right right here we just have to look at it on a daily basis so it meant like if the daily basis if the daily basis crosses negative right here right we're going to uh, go down and that's exactly what happened right here back in uh, back in june in our premium group we said okay the daily the daily mac they cross negative so we're going down because we couldn't rely too much on the 3d time frame because the 3d time frame did not basically cross positive so if it doesn't if it doesn't cross positive you cannot get what a negative crossover right so we rely on our daily basis to get the move to the downside so we nailed it beautifully all the way down to 21k plus minus 10 percent so if you take a look at it once again we got another we had another macd another positive macd right here back in july and what we said was like guys once again we're not going to break below our june lows right until we get what a negative crossover on our macd and guess what guys we just got a negative crossover okay we just got a negative crossover once again it doesn't mean btc will go to zero or it doesn't mean btc will go to a, uh, whatever price you're looking at 3k 1k and all that good stuff i'm not looking for all those prices okay once again okay but all we're saying is like uh you know uh, we're going to get a you know a strong momentum to the downside okay we're going to get a strong momentum to the downside okay you take a look at the negative crossover we had right here back in june a strong rejection from like a 32k all the way down to a 21k okay got a strong re excuse me got a strong rejection right here just about like a 41 42k dump all the way down to 25k okay so could we get a strong rejection down to our next macro support possibly okay what is our nearest macro support the monthly 100 ema we already hit the monthly 100 ema but if you've been watching us long enough right we've been saying hey guys 
the monthly 100 EMA, we're not going to rely on it anymore. Why? Because, you know, it is too close to our June lows, right? Uh, June lows, just about like a 17K to a 17.5. Monthly 100 EMA, just about like a 7, I mean 16.7. So no need to be rushing, okay? Doing like extra analysis between like a 17K to 16K. So the best thing to do, right, is to rely on the monthly 100 SMA. So the monthly 100 SMA, it is at 12.5. That's the next macro support we're going to be looking for for a possible, you know, sideways correction, right? As you can see right here, we could not break the quarterly 21 EMA, the three month time frame, right? On a three month on a three month time frame, we could not get a clean breakout below it. So it could take like a few months or even a few quarters, okay? If bulls find a strong support at 12k, give or take, okay? It could be plus minus 10 percent. But once again bulls most likely well not wells right not looking for like a you know an exact number like a 12.5 it could be anyway plus minus 1000 point and all that good stuff but all we want to see is like a strong support near at or near the monthly 100 sma which is right now at 12.5 could it be 12.5 exactly possibly could it be 12k possibly we don't know but all we know is like the directional move based on the 3d time frame right is down and the next macro support right on the monthly basis not the daily not the one one second chart and all that good stuff leroy but on a monthly basis okay it is going to be 12k but could we reverse back could we reverse back up possibly yes we can still push back up okay that's why i'm saying there is no need okay for the bulls right to be panicking between 17k and 16k and uh, some of the some of the moon boy is going to be like oh we drop all the way down to like a 15.5 and all that good stuff yes but you're not looking for a uh, a short-term trade you're looking for a macro trade remember as long as we below our monthly 21 ema we're in a bear market as long as we below our monthly 21 ema we are in a bear market so we will come from our bullishness we will come from our bull market once we get back above the monthly 21 so we got plenty of time so no need for bulls to be like a rushing and all that good stuff just have to wait for this macro support we might not even get there we might not even get down to like uh, you know uh, 12 5. who knows okay but we got to get back above the monthly 21 ema for me to say like okay guys we probably now okay in a bull market and we could be uh, pushing to the upside and go all the way up to our next macro target not one million dollar but just about like a one 80 okay we're looking for 180 up to 200k but we're not going to get there as long as we below our monthly 21 remember once we get back above the monthly 21 market will be volatile and we could be seeing like some massive moves like you know 30 percent a month okay 50 percent a month all right if you take a look at the uh, november breakout okay november breakout was 50 percent nearly okay you take a look at our breakout in uh, back in december 63 percent breakout and all that good stuff so we got to get back above the uh, monthly 21 ema for us to say hey you know uh, we could be getting some strong strong pump and all that good stuff okay now take a, let's take a look at the uh, macd on the monthly basis the macd on the monthly basis it is still negative so uh, we still you know in a downtrend based on the uh, monthly time frame if you take a look at the uh, monthly rsi it is at a very good level to be accumulating btc and i said it once we get below 43 monthly rsi there is no need to be panicking okay but you don't want to be like accumulating like every every you know one percent drop and all that good stuff just have to be wait just have to be patient and wait for those 25 30 percent uh drop right to accumulate btc so you don't want to be accumulating every 100 points every 200 points and all that good stuff because market is pretty volatile we don't know when we will get down to the uh, monthly 100 sma it could take like a few months it could take a few weeks we don't know okay so uh that's all i wanted to cover for btc on a macro level right next macro support once again monthly 100 sma we got to get back above 20k at least on a 3d basis right to get back some bullishness because our 3d macd it is already negative so it implies like hey we're in a strong negative momentum okay we're in a strong negative momentum okay bears are controlling the trend and we you know we are now below we are now below our june lows and all that good stuff so uh 
just got to get back above the uh, you know at least 20k or at least above the uh, 3d 21 ema before we can say okay now let's try to uh, go back to the uh, monthly 21 ema and all that good stuff right all right guys that's all i wanted to cover for today thanks a lot for watching